Good morning, Trojan fans. I'm Dwayne Douglas here, Student Body Right USC podcast, a little early morning edition for you guys. I, I kind of slacked off a little bit. I'm trying to do these every morning. So we'll 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 go ahead and start doing that now. Um, I just want to start off with not USC news, but college football news. And I guess um Nick Saban went to go talk to Congress about NIL and how football's changed. College football has changed and it's not acceptable and it's not about developing players and developing talent and all these things like that. And I mean, somebody tell this old dude to go kick rocks, like, like for real, like, it's really annoying. It's really disgusting that somebody who has made, I mean, over a hundred million dollars coaching college football. Now I'm not going to sit there and tell you that Nick Saban is not a great coach, I'm not going to sit there and tell you that Nick Saban isn't one of the all-time great coaches in the history of college football. Like, I mean, you know, they recruited some really good teams. They he coached those those teams very well, and he and he deserves the accolades on the field. But this idea that Alabama is some some like some squeaky clean college football program in which nobody has ever you know paid a player. And and they're just and they're just so distraught by the fact that you know he you know they're trying to develop players and develop these guys into young men, and oh my God, the NIL money is just so is just so bad. Like God forbid these players get paid. Like God forbid. And yes, they do. He 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 told a story about his wife talked to the talk to the players and the and the. And the and the moms and they said, "Hey, um, the players just want to know how much they're going to get paid. They don't they don't care about being developed. Of course they care about being developed. Of course they care about how much they're going to get paid. You're not coaching. You didn't coach Alabama for free. You didn't coach Alabama for free. So why should these guys play for free? And the thing about it is, let's be real, like real talk, real quick." Um, Mr. Saban, Coach Saban, you assume none of the physical risk that they do. Again, those players who play the sport of football and play college football, the guys who play on Saturdays and play on playing all these bowl games, they assume all the risk. Separated shoulders, a, a, torn ACL, MCLs, all rotator cuff. You know, collarbone, um, broken legs, all those things, like they 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 go do that. And yes, yeah, they'll be able to get really good doctors to go help them and everything like that. But at the end of the day, let's just be real. Let's really be real. Let's really be real about this whole situation and stop going to Congress, stop trying to get laws in laws in, in place. NIL is not perfect, college football is not perfect. They're trying to figure that part out. And it's and it's difficult because you have you have two entities, the Big Ten and the SEC, and then everybody else, and then you got and the NCAA, where you know you know the Supreme Court kind of told them, hey, get out of here with any kind of ruling against Tennessee when Tennessee had their thing going right. So at the end of the day, like this whole Nick Saban thing is really just like like the fact that if you really cared about kids i mean what's you, you want to go through the public school systems in, in alabama real quick are, are you are, are you are you worried about you are you really are you really worried about kids developing into men so, go go see where alabama ranks public school systems i mean if you're really worried about that that development of men out there in um in 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 the south over there, over there, like this idea that he that he that this that he's so compelled to come forward and say, oh, we have to change college football for what? For you? Nah, Nikki, it's over. It's over, man. Kick rocks, dude. Kick rocks. It's over. It's over. You had your run. Just like Belly had his run in, the, in New England, and nobody wants y'all now. Yeah, I don't want to put you. Don't want to put in the work. You don't want to deal with a, a eighteen-year-old kid who's playing football, 
who at any point could football career could end. We track the stars. We don't track the hundreds of players who never make it to the pros because of injuries. Who, who struggle, who struggle with injuries, um, you know, when they go get regular jobs, right? They assume all the risk and they want to get compensated for that risk. And they're smart for that. And we have to figure out how to, we have, I think the, 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 you know, these teams have to figure out what they need to do in order to um, kind of figure out what they want to do as far as like how much they're going to get paid. Like how, like how can they structure it? So, you know, everybody can, everybody can play because college football is not going to be fun if, if like, if all these people, all these people can't participate and you can't, in, in all these situations here where you also have all these basketball programs, baseball programs, all those things like that. I mean, you know, people want to go, like, you don't want people shutting down athletic programs or shutting down sports because they just don't have enough cash flow. But this whole Nick Saban thing, this facade, this, 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 like, disgusting display of pompness so pop pompous pompousness where he's sitting there acting like he is the godfather of college football and please fix it for me because you know it's it's so wrong to compensate these young men it's it's just it's ridiculous it's ridiculous i couldn't even i couldn't even get through the whole thing like please stop i know you want to think that everybody just wanted to they went. They went to Alabama because you have great hair for your age. That that's not. That's not why. That's not why they went to Alabama. So stop acting like Alabama is like some high city school that never that, that never, you know, gave an envelope to a player. Let's be real. Um, back to some USC stuff. I kind of want to just talk about um, Makai Lemon. I think Makai Lemon is a guy who, um, you know really showed out in the in the bowl game. I thought I think he in the future, I think, I think this team, it's gonna really be on Miller Moss to really kind of direct this offense where he wants to go with it because like there's a lot of weapons on this team. They got a slew of tight ends. They got, I mean Lake McCree's injuries kind of stinks. But then they have, you know, um um Tabarucci, Carson Tab the Carson Tab Tabarucci who played well. Um, in the in the bowl game, um, they have they have some really nice pieces there on this team. They got um, you know Matthews coming in. They got uh, Olson coming in. Like they have so many different weapons, freshman wise. Um, but I do think when you want to have when they go to their go to their wide receiver sets and they have that slot receiver there on twenty four, Mikhail Lemon is going to be a guy who I really want to watch. He really has a, the movement. His fluid movement in his in his route tree is really is really nice, and he's a guy who. What I love about him was in that bowl game when I was when I was there on the field watching. His ability to block, like he's not afraid to get his nose dirty. He's a tough football player. They almost made the mistake of kind of moving him to, did they moved him to a corner, and that I think that would have been a mistake. I, I think you I think if they kept him at corner, he might have transferred. Um, because I mean, I don't, I, I don't know for a fact, but I just feel like he might have transferred because I feel like, you know, what are we doing? Like, you know, I mean, the guy, the guy is a wide, the guy is a wide receiver. I mean, the, the moves he was putting on a very good Louisville team, of um, a a, 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 a a squad that puts teams in the in the in the um put team put players in the NFL and puts teams in bowl games and beats Notre Dame and and and, and does all those things like that. I like Makai Lemon a whole lot, and I think Makai Lemon is going to give you give give you um, USC a huge a huge um, guy in the slot to really do some things as well. Um, and you also have, I mean, we we all know about Zachariah Branch, but I think Zachariah Branch needs to kind of hone his skills, if you will, in order to um, you know get more of the route tree. I think right now you're just running screens and nine routes to Branch. Where Makai Lemon is just like him, he, you know, he, the, 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 I'll tell you, the slot corners didn't have a chance a, a lot in that game. So, and, he, and 
I, he was going against a pretty good bunch. So I would say Makai Lemon would be a guy. If, if you want to do like a little morning spotlight of a player um, for USC, um, as you know, as we go through the spring and get into the spring game, I like him a lot. All right. Soon by the right, USC podcast. Good morning to you. Um, you guys have a great day. Get the coffee going. Do all, do all, do all, do all the things you do in the morning to get ready for work and fight on. Launching it again for Walker. He has it. Touchdown. He got behind Jaden Davis without being held that time. Gonna keep. Got him. Throw. And oh my goodness. He threw it to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown by Pesor and he threw it left handed. This is what I mean about this kid. Agme trips to the right. Drake steps up, now uses his feet, slings it downfield, over the top for McCollum, who holds it in for the touchdown, Carolina. Made a throw, shot to the end zone for Nesbitt again, he caught it, their flag's down. It's a touchdown for Bryson Nesbitt. Two. Seeing that tonight, here's May from the pocket, hit as he throws, looking for Chapman, touchdown Carolina. My goodness, the rookie had to... Drake May, and that time they caught the defense off guard.